Heidi here from Rain Country Homestead. God is good all the time. Well, as I promised, I'm getting to how I cook up my spaghetti squash seed. And yes, I did give it a try. So if you saw my previous video on grain-free spaghetti, you can look right up here and find that one. And um, I got a lot of great ideas on how to cook my spaghetti squash that might be easier. I'm still because I just like to cook a half at a time rather than a whole one. I'm still cutting it in half, but today I decided I'd try cutting it this way instead of the other way, trying to go through this. I like the shape of it the other way where it's more spread out, it's wider, but I thought I'd at least give this a try because it is so much easier to lay it this way and then, and then cut it this way rather than trying to go down lengthwise of the squash. Um, but I scooped out all the seed from both halves. The other half is in there cooking on the wood stove. Now, I did try to make a video of this before, but I did it in there with me cooking on the wood stove. But now that we're at the end of March, I don't know when it will be when, you, when I finally get this video put up, but it's still very cold and wet. And um, yeah, it's, it's plenty cold enough to keep having a fire going in the house. So normally I would still do this on the wood stove right now, but we're also getting enough solar power, even on this very cloudy day, that I can pull out my hot plate and plug it into our solar power. And so I'm going to do that in here so we can have a lot more light to see by because the other one I did was just too dark. So you can see I've got half of them separated out and I want to show you how I do this. <clears throat> I just kind of squish out all the seeds out of the pulp and I don't rinse them. I leave all the that good squash flavor on there and yes it might get a little browned but I like it that way. If you choose to rinse off your seeds that's entirely up to you however I like it this way because not only do I get that flavor. I, I feel like I'm not rinsing away a lot of good nutrients that I could still be having by leaving it on there. So it was really easy just to squish all these out what already didn't fall out when I scooped it out with a spoon. Now I'm going to take you over to my hot plate where I've got a, my little cast iron skillet all nicely heated up. All right, you might be able to see that this is nice, this is smoking. So this tells me this is good and hot. I've got coconut oil in here and this is the slightly refined kind and so this doesn't have the coconut flavor in it you may want to leave the coconut flavor in it depending on the flavor you're going for in your in your squash seed and this can be done with any squash seed and this is how I'm doing it okay, as you can see I've got my hot plate here is a Nesco and this has been my favorite hot plate so far, this, uh, this brand, because all of this is stainless steel. It's still not real easy to clean, but it's more, it's easier than the plastic here. And um, it's more sturdy. And then you've got a solid, oh, let me get my little thing here. You have a solid uh, burner right there, a cast iron burner. And so it just, it, when it gets hot, it stays hot for a long time. So you're not, this isn't having to constantly run. And so anyway, I just fry this, basically fry them in the, in the oil. And I, you'll hear them start to pop. And that will let you know they're about done. So while those are cooking, and I got my little bamboo, I'll link to these below. I'll link to this size cast iron, lodge cast iron skillet below as well, plus some of the other cast iron that I use. All right, so what I wanted to show you next is I was really excited when I found that Nutiva, which is my favorite coconut oil, came out with a refined version. Now, I love coconut oil, the extra version where it's not refined with the coconut flavor in it, but there's a lot of things like frying potatoes and stuff where I really don't want the coconut flavor. So it's nice to have the refined kind. What you need to look for is how it is refined. You're, yes, you're still going to use lose some of the um, health benefits, but this is going to be the healthiest way you can get a good coconut oil that has had the flavor and scent of coconut removed. And this is... Um, 
It's been steamed refined, so it uses no chemicals. This is all organic and non-GMO. So I was really excited to find this, and I got this on Amazon through the subscribe and save, which is the best deal I have ever seen anywhere on refined coconut oil. So I will link to that below. Um, and if you haven't tried subscribe and save, if you're a regular Amazon purchaser, you know, you get, especially if you get groceries or any anything that you use on a regular basis, look up the subscribe and save program. You save 5%. You can have it delivered anytime. You can cancel at any time. You can switch things around at any time. And then if you have at least five or more items coming monthly, and it doesn't matter what those items are, then you can get as much as 15% off. So if it's already a good deal to begin with, plus you're adding it into subscribe and save and getting a 15% off, it is just, it's an excellent deal. So I do that with a lot of my spices like cinnamon that I use a lot of, the Ceylon cinnamon, um, the coconut oil now, and then that other coconut oil that I don't like as much, but um, I'm hoping that Nutiva will have the have this, their regular extra virgin coconut oil in the one gallon buckets through the subscribe and save program soon as well. You're gonna wanna turn your heat down to about medium high. If you, if you listen, you might hear a couple of them start to pop. Oop. And, you know, don't be like me and throw them out of the pan every five seconds. And as I said, I will link to my, these little bamboo spoons below. I like the big ones, obviously. When it comes to this kind of thing for cooking with, I like bamboo over regular wood because it doesn't absorb color. And they just seem to last a lot longer. And these little, these smaller ones, these are called a tablespoon or a soup spoon. Oh, do you hear it? Um, these are real nice for doing smaller little, little things like this. These are actually really close to being done. And you can see the pieces, I'll show you. You can see the pieces of, of the squash right here. Is that blurry? Um, that's getting nice and brown too. That just, that just has a nice flavor. I, you know, it makes it cooked a little bit too much, but yeah, these are getting good and crispy, nice and brown. So, looking good. I'm going to turn the heat off. So, as I said, this, um, I will also link to this Nesco hot plate below for those who are, who are looking into setting up some solar power and want something in the summertime that they can run off their solar power. That's what I, I cook off these predominantly in the summer. Um, right now I do have a fire going. Um, and if I have a fire going, I'm not typically going to be in here cooking on these because I don't want to make more wear and tear on the burners than I have to. So, um, okay, these are done. And they look really good. So I'm going to take this out. Listen to that. Still popping. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, I'll just put them back on this plate. This is the plate I had the seeds on to begin with. I'm going to sprinkle a little, sprinkle a little bit of my homemade season salt on there. And, which I have a video of. You can find that video right there. And then I will be making a video of this. I don't have it out yet. This is my special popcorn seasoning, but I use it on more than just popcorn. And, and it's got a very Mexican flavor to it. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on there. All right, there you have it. An easy, tasty, healthy snack and a way to make the most out of your squash. So don't throw out those seeds and you can use it from any type of squash, whether it be spaghetti, acorn, butternut, pumpkin. Um, butternut is another one of my favorites. So make yourself a healthy snack. And it's just as easy as that. And um, I just tasted one, pretty good. Really like that. And be watching for that, my popcorn seasoning recipe video coming out soon. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.